Hello folks, welcome back. What we are going to learn today is how to trigger a Jenkins build job from a Slack channel. Okay, let's take this use case. Let's say you have a development team. Uh, they want to trigger a Jenkins uh, build job from a Slack channel. Um, so how we are going to do that? So that is the use case we are going to see in this uh, particular lab exercise. Okay. So this is my website, coachdevops.com. I have all these steps documented. I will also post this link in the YouTube uh, video as well. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so I already have my Jenkins running here. Okay, this is hosted in uh, AWS. Okay, I also have uh, my Slack. I have already signed up, I already have workspace running. I also have a bunch of uh, channels here. Okay, so let's pick up a particular channel or it doesn't matter. You can, you know, invoke a Jenkins build job from anywhere. So let's take up this particular uh, channel. Let's say I want to invoke uh, this particular build job, my first automate job uh, from a Slack channel. Okay, so that is what we are going to learn. Um, so let's go to this particular job. This is actually a freestyle job. It doesn't matter. You know, you can also invoke a pipeline job as well or any build job for that matter from a slack channel i'm going to go to build trigger section and i'm going to choose this option trigger builds remotely because this is what uh, we are going to do from a slack channel so i'm going to put in uh, some token information so let's make it my token one two three and uh, i'm going to save this particular build job okay and uh, this is the url so we'll come back to this so we save this particular, uh, you know, build job by adding some token and then I'm going to go to my Slack channel. I want to add. Uh, so by clicking on more and uh, click on add apps, what we have to do is we have to add slash comments. Okay. So this is the utility um, which is available from Slack. Uh, by using this utility, you know, you can make any uh, REST API call, you know, to the outside uh, URL, right? And I'm going to show you how to do that. So click on view in app directory. And then we have to add this. Okay. And this is the command, you know, we want to choose because this is a command we have to enter uh, from the Slack channel, right? So it has to start with the slash. And then you can mention anything. Uh, let's make it like build job. Okay. So once I enter this particular uh, command from a Slack channel, you know, I should be able to invoke this particular build job. Okay. So that is a use case, right? So let me add this integration. And then this is the URL we have to configure. Okay. So this is the command we wanted to, uh, you know, put in, you know, from a uh, uh, slack channel right so it has to be a single word make sure you know you don't have any uh, spaces or any special characters okay and then this is a url for uh, you know uh, jenkins url which we want to invoke okay so i'm gonna copy the whole url and then go back here and then put that in the end we have to add this word bill and then say question mark token and uh, we have to copy or put in our token information i believe this is what we have added let's double check it is definitely case sensitive so it has to be exactly the same uh, text right so i think that's what we have so we are good okay and uh, the method should be uh, get once you do that uh, scroll down you can leave this uh, empty okay all right this is fine you can also leave that uh, empty and here, uh, so this is like, you know, uh, you know, you can add this, uh, you know, you can click this checkbox so that, you know, whenever you go to a uh, channel, you know, it's going to, you know, pop up, right? So select this uh, option so that, you know, it is going to appear something like this. Okay. Once you do that, uh, that's it. Okay. Let's save this. Okay. So right now it is, uh, you know, pretty much saved, right? Okay, so we have we should be able to enter this and uh, you know, it should trigger a job and one more thing we have to do in uh, Jenkins, we also need to make sure that um, you know, we should be able to uh, make anonymous request, uh, right from uh, 
Slack channel. So we have to go to configure global security. Okay. And then uh, we have to make sure that, you know, we check this option. Okay. Allow anonymous and read access. Okay. So, so obviously, right, we are not giving right access. At least we should have, uh, you know, this option enabled. Okay. Let's apply and save. Okay. So let me go to Slack. And uh, it doesn't matter, right? You can go to any build job. Okay. I mean, sorry, any uh, channel. And let's say, so I want to enter slash build job, right? So this is what we want to do that. And then the moment I say enter, okay? So let's go back to Jenkins and make sure the job is kickstarted. Wow, look at that. You see it, guys? We are able to see that, uh, you know, Slack was able to invoke this particular build job, right? From uh, Jenkins. Okay, so that's it guys, you know, that's how, you know, you're going to invoke this particular uh, or any build job, uh, you know, from uh, Slack. So that's how you're going to do it. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for watching my video.